My name is Kirsty Murphy, um, I'm a pilot with Blades Aerobatics Display Team, but I also flew for 17 years in the Air Force. Hi, I'm Randy Hickson, and I was uh, the second woman that flew the Tornado G04. It was a really emotional performance, actually, and some of the songs really, I found really, really evocative, actually, and they really stirred up some emotions, especially when they were talking and describing actually what it's like to be flying. Um, Breath of Angels song actually had me in tears. Um, Same for me, there are a lot of emotions in the performance. So for me, there was the sort of camaraderie, which is really the reason I joined the Air Force. I wanted to be part of that team and that family. And um, I think that came across really strongly in um, what I saw. Um, and also that sort of, sort of patriotism, um, but then also that other side of it and the sort of sorrow of losing friends and the grief that comes with that. And the, the sort of mind games that, that happen in, in your own head when something like that happens. So, you know, real emotional journey from beginning to end. Um, we were looking for a storyline, myself and the composer, uh, Glenn Tollett, and I thought, well, here's a, here's a real opportunity to tell the story of these, these pioneering women, really, because there were women involved in aviation at the time, but society was... Uh, was not really giving them that many opportunities. So for me, the women in the ATA were, you know, they made it possible for me to do what I'd done with my career. I didn't have any problems joining the Air Force as a female. You know, it was challenging for me just as a person trying to get into the Air Force as a pilot, because it's a difficult thing to do. As a female, it was no different. And I absolutely thank all of the women in the ATA. And actually people who went ahead of me, like Mandy, that have made that possible. So um, for me, it's about keeping the story alive. You know, it is these women that made it possible for us to follow our dreams as well. And, and I too was very fortunate, although I was literally one of the, the, sort of the first female tornado pilots, actually, you know, it was a struggle just to get in as a human being, not just because you're a woman. And, you know, I think actually just watching that, you realise how far we have come. Oh, it's stunning. I mean, I have to say, what was really lovely as for ourselves in this performance in particular was we actually got to meet them afterwards as well. And I actually found that really emotional. You know, it's such a beautiful small theatre and to actually watch this incredibly emotional performance and then to go, we loved it afterwards and to actually speak to them as well. And for us to be as appreciative as we were. And then when, um, you know, Steve said, oh, and this is Peter, Kirsty and Randy and they flew the tour. And they were like, oh my goodness. It was sort of, it was lovely to have that sort of cross pollination really. But no, I just think you don't get talent like this every day, and this is very often normally, normally talented.